In the year 380, Catholicism was made the official religion of the Roman Empire, saying, We authorize followers to assume the title of Catholic Christians, but as for the others, they shall be branded heretics. They will suffer the punishment of our authority, which we shall inflict. Over the next several centuries, the Catholic Church gained enormous power over all aspects of European life. According to Pope Gregory VII, the Roman Pontiff alone has the authority to make and depose kings, declare religious writings as valid or invalid, and make laws. Among other things, he asserted that the Roman Church has never, and will never, err, that kings should kiss the feet of the Pope, and that the Pope himself is above the law and can only be judged by God himself. Pope Leo X famously said, it has served us well, this myth of Christ. They caused the majority of the population to become illiterate and ignorant, suppressing all forms of scholarship except for within the clergy. Book banning and burning was a common practice, and the general populace was even prohibited from reading the Bible. The Vatican's methods for controlling the populace became a violent and bloody campaign for ultimate domination eliminating anyone who disagreed with church dogma. A series of Vatican-inspired wars called Crusades began in the year 1095 with the Campaign for Control of Jerusalem and lasted for over 250 years. Pope Urban II called for a Catholic army to be assembled and sent them forth against Muslims, Jews, and heretics. An estimated three million people died. The Pope had promised automatic forgiveness of sins to any Crusaders who participated. A storm of savagery swept over the homeland of Yehoshua. Whole cities were massacred, atrocities committed against the corpses of the slain. In the year 1208, Pope Innocent III proclaimed a formal crusade against the Cathari and Albicingians in the south of France. He allowed for the confiscation of Cathari lands and promised the crusaders divine clemency of any violence committed against Cathari heretics. After the raising of the town of Bezirs, the commander of the Crusader army wrote to the Pope, telling him of the slaughter of 20,000 inhabitants, regardless of age, rank, or gender. The same commander famously said, Kill them all, God will know his own, when asked how to distinguish a heretic from a Catholic. The extermination of the Cathari would continue for 30 years, during which an estimated one million people were murdered at the command of the papacy. The formal inquisition was instituted in 1229 as a tool to root out the remaining Cathari and their sympathizers. The inquisition against alleged heretics became increasingly aggressive. Heresy was any teachings or ideas thought to be adverse to church doctrine. Pope Innocent III said, Anyone who attempts to construe a personal view of God which conflicts with church dogma must be burned without pity. Those suspected of heresy were confined to prison for months during the investigation. The families of the accused were charged for the expenses of the confinement. Most often their property was confiscated regardless of the outcome of the investigation. Those convicted were turned over to secular authorities for punishment usually in the form of burning at the stake. In the year 1252, Pope Innocent IV authorized the use of torture in investigating heresy. The instruments devised for the torture chamber proved the sadistic and brutal nature of the men who applied them. They were designed to inflict as much pain as possible, and victims often confessed to imaginary crimes to escape the cruelty of the inquisitors. Inquisitors grew wealthy confiscating the property and possessions of heretics. Inquisitor Americ lamented that there are no more rich heretics. Even the dead were not safe from suspicion. Their bones were dug up, paraded through the streets, and burned. Their heirs disinherited and their property seized. Toward the end of the 15th century, inquisitors shifted their focus from heretics 
to women thought to be witches. Publication of the Malleus Maleficarum, a handbook for the investigation, torture, and punishment of witchcraft in the year 1487 was authorized by Pope Innocent VIII. Inquisitors demonstrated a fierce zeal for persecuting women accused of witchcraft. A witch could be found guilty on the testimony of a single anonymous witness. Specialized torture devices were created to mutilate the breasts and sexual organs of women. They were forced to confess to fantastic crimes under the brutal agony of torture. It is recorded that in some towns, the female populations were decimated. Even children were not protected from the accusation of witchcraft. Girls as young as nine years old were subjected to the torture chamber. Burning alive at the stake was the most common form of execution. Witches were accused of killing and eating children, making pacts with the devil, and defiling the Eucharist. The Vatican claimed they could castrate a man just by looking at him, cause sickness in people or livestock, and fly through the air as female demons copulating with unsuspecting men. Women with knowledge of healing, contraception, and midwifery, who had long been respected and valuable members of their local communities, were now vilified and denounced for practicing witchcraft. Woodcuts such as these show supposed witches flying on brooms, kissing the devil's backside, and celebrating the Black Mass in parody of the Catholic Mass. Every female was a potential witch, and coming under the suspicion of the Inquisition Tribunal was essentially a death sentence.